What humans will look like in the future? Planet Earth is inhabited by over 7 billion humans, and the way we look today has come a long way over the past millions of years. With evolution affecting every generation of our species, our face and bodies continue to adapt and change. So then, what will humans look like in the future? Before we answer that curious question, let's start with how we got here. Millions of years ago, the primates that roamed the planet Earth split off into two evolutionary branches, one of which was the great apes that includes orangutans, gorillas, and chimpanzees, while the other was a species leading to modern humans. In the branch that led to humans included the Neanderthals, as well as Homo sapiens and other Homo species. Unfortunately for the Neanderthals, through a process of natural selection, only the Homo sapiens were able to survive. All the other species of Homo, including the Neanderthals, went extinct. So, for you watching this video right now, you have a lot to thank our Homo sapien ancestors. Pretty cool, right? For modern humans, we've come a long way looks-wise from our Homo sapien ancestors. Over the past thousands of years, Rapid changes in Earth's climate has led to a tripling in the size of our human skull and the brain, as well as the flattening of the face. And guess what? The way we look is continuing to change. We can't escape from our biological evolution. Changes in Earth's environment, as well as our needs, are having an impact on our biology and how our future descendants will look like in the future. For starters, most scientists agree that one of the significant changes for humans will be a larger forehead as a result of a larger brain size. If we go back around 3 million years ago, through fossil records, we can see that the brain of our ancestors began a massive expansion in size. By the time our species, Homo sapiens, emerged about 200,000 years ago, the human brain had grown from about 350 grams to more than 1,300 grams. That's nearly four times bigger. If we fast forward in our history to only a few hundred years ago, what may be more surprising is that differences are visible in the forehead size of humans. Recently, researchers compared the skull of humans dating back to the 14th century to today's humans and found that our ancestors had smaller foreheads. In some cases, the forehead of humans today was nearly 20% bigger than humans in the 14th century. So imagine that. Your great-great-great-great-great-grandchildren may have a forehead that is 20% bigger than yours. Interesting, right? Someday it may not just be our wild imagination that we have bigger foreheads and look like the aliens we see in movies today. It may actually be our future. Your descendants may actually look alien to you if they were brought back from the future to present time. Beyond this, one of the most interesting thing about our upcoming evolution is that many geneticists think that we as a human race are converging to a grand average. This means that we are becoming more alike. How, may you ask? Well, there are a number of factors that contribute and control the appearance traits in groups of people. One of them is genetic diversity. In countries like the United States, where many people from different origins come to call home, there is a melting pot happening. And it's not just in the United States, it is happening in other countries as well. The world's population is mixing and is no longer just breeding within cultural or ethnic groups. As a result, all humans are converging towards a future where we will start to appear similar and become the average of all our current different physical appearances. However, notwithstanding, climate will continue to affect the skin color. A group of people who live in relatively sunless areas will slowly become pale, while those who live near the equator in the hotter, sunnier regions will slowly darken. Regardless, for good or bad, with global warming affecting Earth, we're all likely going to evolve to a darker skin tone due to the extra heat and UV radiation. That's not all. Another factor to affect our appearance trait is nutrition. You may have already noticed that you're likely taller than your parents. If you have children, well, they might just be taller than you. In 1880, the average American male was 5 foot 7. Today, he's 5 foot 10. This phenomenon is actually due to our improving nutrition. 
as we continue to improve on our farming techniques, storage, transport, and distribution of food, we're gradually going to get taller. But even that's not all that will change in humans in the future. As humanity strives for the stars and starts to colonize other planets, our bodies will undergo further evolutionary changes. And that too, in more unexpected ways. For starters, for our outer space humans, their eyes will get bigger to accommodate for dimmer lights as they get farther from the sun. And to help them see, we can expect our descendants to have cartoon-like large eyes. Furthermore, as use of our technology continues to grow, so too might the use of bionics. It would not be out of the ordinary to expect future humans to have a mashup of flesh and robotics. Our eyes may even have special lenses or nanobots to enhance our vision in the hostile environments of other planets. As we wander into unknown environments of space and alien planets, our bodies will also need to cure itself of diseases and adapt to radioactivity. As a result, our future humans may need to have their genes modified or nanobots implanted to be able to cope. Our non-Earthbound descendants will start to branch off to develop their own traits based on where they colonize in the universe. On Mars, for example, a human would only weigh 38 pounds if she weighed 100 pounds on Earth. So if you were a Martian human where many generations of your descendants lived and died, the eventual Martian human may actually become taller than the Earth counterparts. Why do you ask? Well, our height is influenced by how easy our heart finds it to pump blood throughout our body. With less gravity on Mars, the human heart would have less gravity to fight with and would cause your body to be taller. However, the bone density and muscle strength of Martian humans would also be weaker due to the lower gravity environment. They would not be as muscular as the Earth-bound humans. Likewise, there may be more changes in store for humans on Mars. If they come to rely on taking food in liquid or pill form, then it would reduce the need for their teeth and jaw muscles. In this case, the jaws of these humans would over time get smaller and even their teeth may disappear. Yikes, or cool. What if we mix in technology though? That's where the future of martial humans will get interesting. These humans would come to rely more heavily on robotics and nanobots to survive the lower gravity, lower oxygen, and higher radioactive environment. The Martian humans may slowly evolve into robocops, all necessitated by our species' collective desire to become extraterrestrial. Now, it's entirely possible that none of what we just shared will come true. As human civilization continues to master technology and chooses to control the human genome, what we look like in the future may depend entirely on our tastes. We may end up mastering the genetics to adapt to our environment while producing humans with straight noses, fancy colored eyes, unimaginable skin tones, and anything else you can fancy. Our looks would be totally up to the choices and imagination of our descendants. Wild? Scary? Interesting? Or all of the above? There's no doubt that humans will evolve. Humans in the future will look quite a bit different than what we look like today. So share your thoughts on what you think the humans will look like in the future. We'd love to hear your perspective. And we hope you liked this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you like this video. To help us continue to bring more of these videos to you, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, The Curious Path, as well. Thank you for watching.